Kanye West, hands down, is one of my favorite producers, artists, etc. I mean, just the way that he samples in general is just so freaking amazing. And it's definitely one of the people that I've been studying as a producer. So what I want to do in today's video is pretty much show you how to sample like Kanye. But in order to sample like Kanye, you have to go back to his stuff. And the thing about Kanye, he just has so many historic samples. I mean, that's literally the premise of his entire beat making, to be honest with you. I mean, some of my personal favorites is when he turned this song by Naturally Cole into freaking Heard Him Say. Cash out, thick bitch from the West Side. So this is in the name of love, like Rob say. Or even better, sampling freaking Michael Jackson PYT. Yeah. To freaking good life. Good life. It feel like Atlantic. With a lot of Kanye music, he's able to chop up the sample, add some sonic sounds, or add some 808s, and add some hip hop drums to it uh, to really bring it all together. And then he also challenges that as well. I mean, he has so many different unique styles in music. Even though there's still that same sample, he's still able to uh, diversify it by, let's say, adding orchestrated sounds or adding a lot of choir sounds and, and so on. And of course, his music has developed over time. So, in honor of his last album, Jesus is all. What is it? In honor of his last album, Jesus is King, I'm going to sample gospel music. That's currently what he's on right now, so let's go ahead and get into it. Steve, so the first thing you need is a sample, Higher by Budgie. So I figure, okay, let me resample it and put my own twist to it. First, slowed it down, and then I uh, made the double speed to make it sound faster and more higher pitch. I put a single EQ on it. I cut down the high cut with a thousand frequency. Also added some EQ. Uh, I wanted to make sure I cut some of the low end and some of the high end off, just to make sure that the uh, sample just don't sound too low or too high. And here's how it originally sounded before I even made it half time to speed it up. Like I said, Kanye, he likes to chop up stuff, he likes to speed it up, he likes to take a lot of classic samples and put it into songs. So this is something that I did to hear. Then from there, I needed a dope intro. I took another part of the sample and I kind of faded it in. Find it with another sample. Amazing intro, a good way to kind of introduce the song and, and the beat there. From there, I just added some drums. I added a nice little snare there. To give more depth, I layered it with another snare. Then I added a rhythm snare. Then you know, since I had all the snares pretty much done, I had to add a little bit of bass low end, so I added some kicks. <laughs> And at this point, I felt like it needed some more rhythm, so I added a shaker. And again, I'm going for that classic uh, college dropout, graduation type Kanye. I had to add some more uniqueness to the beat, so I added some toms to transition to the one uh, when it hits the four. Of course, because it's hip hop, I had to add some hi hats. Get some more hi hats. It just gives it a lot more balance. Like one, one, one rhythm with the hi hats is giving you the cha 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 cha. But then you have the main hi hats there giving you cha cha. Cha, 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 which just works well together as you see here. 
give so much bounce. From there, I added some more snares to give a little bit more depth on the uh, snare there. And then I add some more percussion to hit in certain places just to give some more style to it. It's just the little things. It's the little things. It's the little things. It's the little things. And here's where the sonic sound comes in. So I added a little bit of synths uh, with phaser as well as auto funk and tie dye uh, pedal uh, on there just to give it a little bit more style. High cut EQ to cut down some of the high end. And I also put some overdrive to give it some some depth. But all I did was have it hit on some of the root notes. This is a synth bass from Contact. And I personally love it, so I, I just fit. I just feel like it fit. Then from there, I had to add a higher synth. It's the same sound as a low synth, but I just got rid of some of the EQ and I just kept the uh, pedal board in there as well. And that just hits on some of the sounds that you hear in the sample, specifically the. Dun -dun 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 -dun. And there's a beat, y'all. point the beat was pretty much done I just added my tag to pretty much top it off hey this is gonna be the last take it's taking me like four times this is gonna be the one started over i gave it all up but then i thought it was over yeah. but as i grew older man i started to suffer i was avoiding her when all alone when i loved her yeah so i had to pick it up again i found my love and she showed me that my group of friends had the same passion so the music just began became simplicity and together we never end yeah all in it together we win Tell the engineer we have to beat for the meal Because all we do is eat and feast Doing what we love as we nod to the beats Give it from the man the button I say Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> You know, I think that's gonna do. I think that's pretty good for me. Hey, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching the video. Much appreciated. Thank y'all for supporting the channel. Go ahead and leave a subscribe button. Let me know how y'all feel about the beat and let me know what y'all want me to sample next. Remember, your only limitations are those in your own mind. Stevie TV out.